Hey folks, it's Greg from Greg's Country Cabin Outdoors. I know I just posted a video yesterday, but I'm making another one today. So I'm getting the hardwood flooring in. And I got as far as the stone hearth. And I decided to stop there because I wanted to finish it. I posted pictures of the stone hearth and a video about it. And a friend of mine asked me if I was going to finish it. Well, that was what I originally wanted to do right there. However, I agreed with him totally. It wasn't quite finished. So, I went to my employer. I purchased another rock. And I went ahead and cut it. And so I'm going to finish it out. And this rock goes here. Okay, that brings us out to the four foot mark right here. All right. Next. That rock goes there which gives it a little bit more of a symmetrical shape. And from the same stone that I cut that out of, right there, I got this rock. So, that will complete the hearth. And I'm not going to mortar it in right away. And the reason I'm not going to mortar it in right away is because I can cut my flooring, bring it up to the edge, and then mix my mortar up, pull the rocks out, put the mortar in, and put the rocks in, level them off, and not make a mess on top of the hardwood flooring. If I mortar it in before I finish the hardwood flooring, then I'll have a situation like I've got over here. This is already mortared, so what's going to happen is I'm going to butt up against this, and I'm going to have to put mortar in there, to fill the space between the hardwood flooring and the stone. So, I'm going to hold off. I will finish this flooring out to this point over here. I will finish this area right in here. And I will finish this over to here. And then I will go ahead and bring it on over to the side and mortar these in afterwards after the fact so it's kind of unique I was able to purchase this stone right here and these pieces and this piece right here came off of that stone they were leftovers so it worked out great no scrap <laughs> which is really what I like it's going to put that stove in a very good position. I'm sorry about the lighting. The uh, sun's shining in. It's getting late in the evening. So I'm going to get a lot more sunshine in here. But anyway, hey, this is Greg from Greg's Country Cabin Outdoors. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, you can see I processed a little bit of wood. I've got another box over here. This is all fire starter. It's not going to be something to sustain you through the night. This is just for starting fires. And I'm going to use it both in here and in the cabin. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Give it the old thumbs up. And you can share this with your friends if you want to. Thanks for watching.